Hello there and welcome to the Straddle Trader Pro. Many of you are just now downloading the installer package for the Straddle Trader Pro. And before we get to the, the installation process, I wanted to give you a quick pointer. You might have already downloaded and saved this installer file to your computer and to your desktop. And before you run it, you're going to want to know about the security feature that's built into Windows that many of you will run into. Windows has a security feature called the User Account Control, and we want to bypass that in order to properly install this tool. To do that, all you need to do is right-click with your right mouse button on this icon and choose Run as Administrator. And that just gives the installer package the administrative rights to complete the installation properly. Once the installation is complete, you'll have an icon that looks like this. When you run this, you also will want to bypass that security feature by right-clicking and choosing Run as Administrator. This will make things work properly and bypass the security features that are built into both Windows Vista and Windows 7 that might otherwise get in the way. The user account control can also be permanently adjusted by going to your Start menu and to your Control Panel. Once in your control panel, you can go to user accounts and then here you'll see change user account control settings. This machine has Windows 7 on it. This machine has Windows 7 and it has a slider bar which you can see mine is set to the very bottom and then you would click OK. After making that adjustment you will need to restart the computer. Windows Vista users will have a line that says use user account control to help protect your computer with a checkbox option next to it. By removing the check and clicking OK that will turn off the security feature as well. Again you will need to restart your computer before moving forward. Hope this helps and now on to the installation video. This video will discuss the installation of the Straddle Trader Pro. Hopefully by now you have downloaded and saved the installer package to your desktop. And here we will double click it and follow the process through. The installation wizard will start automatically and we click next. And checking to make sure that all of our MetaTrader platforms have been closed, we then click OK. And now this will search for any MetaTrader platform that is in installed on your computer. We do need to let this run its course. And now we can select whichever platforms we would like to install into. For me, I will only select this bottom platform for this example, and I'll click Next. Then click Next again, and a third time Next. For ease of use, you will want to create a desktop icon. So adding a checkbox there will be good, and then we click Next. And now finally we can install. If we leave this checked, then automatically when we click Finish, it will start the program. And let's go ahead and do that. You'll see two things that happen at this point. We now have a new icon on our desktop. And if you've already clicked I Allow, then you can now enter your appropriate username and password and click OK. At this point now we're into the user interface and at this point we need to run the communicator syncing so that it can sync to the actual trading platforms. So here we need to click Add Terminal and you'll see that again this is running a search on your entire computer for all MetaTrader 4 platforms that have been installed. When the pop-up box appears, we can see that the scanning is complete. We can now select the appropriate platforms to sync to. And now we click the right arrow to add that to our selected terminals. When completed, we click OK. And here we can now click this red X, which takes us to the main screen of the user interface. If at a later point you've installed additional MetaTrader platforms and you would like to link this to additional platforms, all you have to do is click the Straddle button here. We can then click Add Terminal. 
and again it will run this process of searching your computer for additional platforms. Once it has finished you can select it, click the right button, and that will be added into the selected terminals area. At this point we have now opened up our MetaTrader platform and you can see I've adjusted the StraddleTrader Pro so that there is no overlapping of the platform or the user interface. First we need to pull up a new chart for a currency pair that we would like to trade. You can make any adjustments that you would like. Once completed we need to make sure that our expert advisors are turned on within the platform. We do this by clicking the large expert advisor button at the top. If it has a red circle they are turned off. Once we click you can see that now there's a green circle which is good for trading. Then we come down to the navigator area. We click the plus mark next to expert advisors and now we find the straddle trader pro. To add this to the currency pair chart that we're viewing we just double click and here we have some common inputs that need to be adjusted. The first is on the left hand side at the bottom allow live trading needs to have a checkbox. Also on the top right allow DLL imports needs to be checked and the final thing that we need to do is uncheck or unselect confirm DLL function calls. Next we would go to our inputs tab and there are a number of variables here that would need to be set according to your specific parameters for this trade and these inputs will be discussed at a later video. So now we can click OK and you'll see that it is added to the top right corner of the chart and you might even hear the orders being entered. This concludes the installation video. Look for the next video that discusses the inputs and variables of this tool.